Hello my dear viewers, all my dear students, as you all know that we have already done a good part of this chapter and now we are proceeding towards the climax, towards the end of the story. So I have written here climax of the story, end of the grandmother. Yes, with the ending of the story, this is the ending of our beloved grandmother too, who is the grandmother of Kushwan Singh, the narrator. Actually, when uh, the author returned back from abroad after receiving her, his higher education, she came to the platform to receive him. Who came to the platform to receive him? Grandmother came to the platform to receive him and she did not look a day older. Means as she used to look five years before when she came to see him off when he was going to abroad for further education. Same way she was looking after five years also. Whereas the narrator was thinking when she kissed his forehead, narrator thought that this could be the last physical contact between them. But to his surprise, she was again there at the platform to receive him. She was not looking a day older. I have written here as if the time would have stopped as if the time would have stopped she was same emotionally she was same kind of religious lady this time too she did not waste time in doing anything else but she used to spin the wheel she used to uh, uh, feed the sparrows and she used to be she used to read the beads of rosary all the times but in the evening it was seen that something uh, quite changing in the grandmother's personality. She omitted praying that day, that evening, and she collected the ladies of neighborhood. She collected the ladies of the neighborhood and then she did what? She did what? She started thumping the drum or she started beating the sagging skin of an old drum. Sagging means loose skin of an old drum. She sang songs of the homecoming of warriors and she danced a lot. When she did this much, she got tired. Actually, family members tried their level best to persuade her, I mean to convince her not to do so, otherwise she could be taken ill, but she did not stop herself doing so and it so happened as was imagined as was thought that next day she was taken ill she got exhaust, exhausted she got tired and next day she couldn't do anything and she was taken ill doctor came he examined the grandmother and then he declared that it was a mild fever means it was a mild fever there was nothing like dangerous Okay, so it would go away. The doctor said the fever would go away, but it did not go away. Actually, grandmother understood. She sensed out of her approaching end. She sensed out that her end was near. That is why she did not like the family members standing around the court of her. She said to leave her, her alone and then she started praying. She started praying. And how did she used to pray? She used to read the beads of rosary. And all of a sudden what happened? After some time when she was reading the beads of rosary, the rosary fell from her hand and her lips stopped moving. Her lips stopped moving. I mean, she died. She died. Before they, they mean family members could understand anything, she left this mortal world and went to the immortal world. Understood children? Her corpse. Corpse here means dead body. Corpse means dead body. It was ready to be taken away. To be taken away for what? For cremation. For the final rites. 
at the time when her corpse was kept in the orchard her uh, dead body was there in the veranda uncountable sparrows thousands of sparrows came and they sat around the body the dead body of the grandmother but there was something that was quite extraordinary in the scene and the extraordinary thing was all the birds came and they sat quietly they did not create sound means no bird chirp they did not create sound they remained silent the mother of kushwan singh actually scatter some bread crumbs for the sparrows to be taken for the sparrows to be eaten but they did not take any bread crumb they did not take any bread crumb and when the body of the grandmother mother was taken away they all flew away without chirping without creating any noise that's how grandmother died and that's that's how the birds expressed their sorrows on the death of grandmother understood children so with my this video the chapter goes over one by one one after another videos i have completed the chapter in a very detailed manner i hope and believe that every viewer of mine every student of mine would have understood the chapter in a very easy manner if you still feel any problem you can contact me on my personal whatsapp till then stay home stay safe thank you very much